When you talk about Michael Schumacher, what comes into your mind? Formula One, Ferrari, racetrack? Yes, the world of auto racing is synonymous to this guy's name. At an early age, he's shown interest in so much potential and he rose to become one of the iconic figures in the world of car racing. Who is he? How did it all get started? Don't shift your gears everyone as we bring you Shumi, a famous Formula One brighter star racer and the guy who got reprimanded by the police by driving a taxi cab. Before we step on our pedals and race off, do not forget to like and subscribe to Sports Stars and click the bell to watch our latest videos. Michael Schumacher, or Shumi, was born on January 3, 1969 in the town of Hearth, North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany to Rolf and Elizabeth. When Michael was four, he expresses interest in karting. So, his father modified his pedal cart by adding a small motorcycle engine. His parents took him to the karting track at Kirpenhorum, where he became the youngest member of the karting club. His father soon built him a cart from discarded parts. And at age 6, Michael won his first club championship. To encourage his son's racing, Rolf Schumacher took on a second job renting and fixing carts while his wife worked at the track's canteen. In 1984 and 1985, he won a German Junior Karting Championship and in 1987, he gained a German and European karting titles. In the next year, at age 19, he left karting and became a driver of Formula 3 cars, vehicles that were less powerful than the Formula 1 racers. Two years later, in 1990, he won the German F3 Championship. And Michael Schumacher completes the lap to take the checkered flag and that gives him the victory. In 1991, Michael moved up to Formula One competition as a driver for the Jordan team. He needed a very short notice to get a replacement for Bertrand, who was obviously unavailable. He had no other commitments. Schumacher was available this weekend. I've seen him in Formula Three, and I have this, or the team has this attitude to give youth a chance. He switched to Benetton the following year and won the Drivers' World Championship for that team in 1994 and 1995. Before the 1996 season, he moved to the Ferrari team and finished third in the championship ranks. After sustaining a broken leg in a crash in 1999, Schumacher bounced back to win the third championship of the following year. Michael Schumacher wins the Spanish Grand Prix after an absolutely superlative drive. Which was Ferrari's first driver's title since 1979. His 2000 win was the first in a string of five consecutive world championships. And his grand total of seven F1 titles broke Juan Manuel Fangio's record of five that has stood for nearly 50 years. Michael Schumacher win at Monza and Italy. In 2005 and 2006, he completed in third and second place in the Formula One standings respectively. Here's a fun fact. Did you know? Michael Schumacher remains Formula One brightest star earning about $1 billion in his career. Amazing, right? Hang on to your seats and we'll share with you his life off track. We don't want to miss this very exciting part. So stay with us until the end of this video. In August 1995, Michael married Corina Betch. They have two children, a daughter Gina Marie born in 1997 and a son, Mick, born in 1999. Known to be a private person, him and his family moved to a newly built mansion near Glen, Switzerland in 2007 with a private beach at Lake Geneva and featuring an underground garage and patrol station with a vintage shell fuel pump. In January 2019, Michael's son, Mick Schumacher, was announced as a driver for the Ferrari Driver Academy. It was beautiful to, to make those first laps and obviously seeing all the guys working with the car and, and uh, working with me so I felt very comfortable. I felt. While Michael experienced unparalleled victory on the track, he was also, through a combination of winners' purses and endorsements, one of the best paid athletes in the history of sport. 
His annual income was estimated at $100 million at the peak of his career. Schumacher was also known for his charitable efforts. He was named Special Ambassador for UNESCO in 2002 and made headlines for his $10 million donation to the relief effort for the Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004. I'm a fan of children, to be honest, yes, no, but I'm an ambassador for UNESCO for children in need since last year. And that's my reason to be here, to raise some attention in order to, to help the children who need help. One of his main hobbies was horse riding, and he played football for his local team FC Ashishans and has appeared in several charity football games and organized games between Formula One drivers. In April 2002, he was named a UNESCO champion for strongly advocating education for children. In June 23, 2003, Schumacher was chosen as an ambassador at large for the Most Serene Republic of San Marino. In Lima, Peru, he sponsored the Palace for the Poor, a center for helping to acquire basic necessities and education for homeless street children. Schumacher continued to support other campaigns such as Make Roads Safe. I mean, the key message is uh, to make a difference and to be active in, in road safety in particular, which is uh, yeah, such a big thing if you look how many cars. Which is led by FIA Foundation and calls for G8 countries and the UN to recognize global road deaths as a major global health issue. In 2008, Schumacher was the front of an advertising campaign by Bacardi to promote consciousness about responsible drinking. Want the ultimate driving experience? Want me to be your designated driver? Support our Champions Drink Responsibly campaign. With a focus on delivering a global message, drinking and driving don't mix. In 2002 and 2004, Michael was named the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year. He has been nominated for the award six times, sharing the honor with tennis player Roger Federer. In 2006, he was congratulated with the FIA Gold Medal for Motorsport to commemorate his success. The following year, he won the Prince of Asturias Award for Sport for his racing career as well as his philanthropic contributions. Schumacher retired at the end of the 2006 campaign to serve as a test driver and advisor for Ferrari. On the race I'm going to do, at the end of this year, I've decided together with the team that I'm uh, going to retire from, from racing. At the time of his retirement, he had 91 Formula One Grand Prix race victories, which broke the past record of 51 held by French driver Alain Prost. In December 2009, he declared he would return to Formula One for the 2010 season as a driver for the Mercedes team. He spent three seasons with Mercedes but never won a race and never completed higher than eighth of the overall Formula One ranks during his comeback. And he retired again in 2012. Here's another interesting thing about him. In 2007, Schumacher personally drove a taxi through the Bavarian town of Coburg to collect a dog and enable the family to make their return flight to Switzerland. Both Schumacher and the driver were reprimanded by the police. In 2010, the French government honored this brilliant racer with the title Officier of Légion d'Honneur, the highest of its kind in France. In 2013, he suffered head injury while skiing, resulting to paralysis and memory loss. Michael Schumacher, the most successful driver in Formula One history, is after suffering severe brain injuries when he fell and hit his head while skiing in the French Alps. He was put into a medically induced coma for six months to help him cope with the trauma. In 2019, former Ferrari manager Jean Todt confirmed that Michael Schumacher was making good progress. However, he also said that he continues to struggle to communicate. In 2014, the Millennium Trophy was conferred upon the celebrated racer at the Bambi Awards. There are so many things that we didn't know that happened and we truly captivated by Shumi's life. Any thoughts so far about this video today? Share it with us by leaving a comment below. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel Sports Stars. And don't forget to click the bell to watch our newest videos. Thanks for watching.